Lord Jesus, I want to experience your supernatural this year. I want to experience your supernatural. Lord, I want you to use me for your signs and wonders. I want to you be to use by you, Lord. I want to be used by you, Lord. I surrender to you, Lord Jesus. Have your way, oh Lord. Use me for your work this year. Use me for great works this year. Your word says greater works shall I do. I want to do greater works for you this year. I just don't want to be an ordinary Christian. I want to be extraordinary. I want to do great works for you. Take me out of my comfort zone, Lord. Use me, Jesus. Have your way in me. You are my Lord. You are my Lord in every area. Take over, take over. Every aspect of my life. Jesus Christ, take over. I surrender to you. Have your way, Lord. Use me for your supernatural. You are the God of supernatural. You said in the last days, you shall pour your spirit upon the flesh. Lord, pour your spirit upon me. Pour your spirit upon me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. use what is unclean. Oh, my Lord, but I serve you. I do all the things in the church to please you. Yes, you do, but your heart is not clean. You're so quick to be offended. You spend your time on mundane things. You don't allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. I'm sorry. I want you to really use me this time. Have your way in me. Oh. Well, first of all, you must allow me to guide you to walk in the spirit. You cannot continue to yield to the flesh. Only through the Holy Spirit can you manifest the supernatural. Oh Lord, the Holy Spirit, why speak in tongues? Yes, you do. But my gift of speaking in tongues is without repentance. Many times you are just babbling without connecting to the Holy Spirit. And you are not manifesting the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Open your Bible to Galatians 5, 22 to 25. Oh Lord, Galatians 5, 22 to 25. Oh, I'm sorry. Galatians 5, 22 to 25. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. Verse 24. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have nailed the passions and desires of their sinful nature to his cross and crucified them there. Since we are living by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. Oh Lord. So you see, instead of gentleness, you are hot tempered. Instead of love, you are the first to criticize people. Instead of kindness, you are so harsh. You have not been keeping in step with the Holy Spirit. So you need to manifest the fruit of the Spirit for you to walk in the supernatural. There is no supernatural without allowing the Holy Spirit to lead you. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lord. But I want you to really use me this year. I want to really manifest the supernatural. So what do I need to do? Good question. I can see now in your heart that you truly desire to please me. 
first of all, you need to prove by the way you live that you have truly repented of your sins and have turned to me. And you need to dwell in my presence more and more by worshipping me and reading my word and doing what it says. Yes, Lord, I am ready. I am ready, Lord. I am ready, Lord. I am ready to do this. Help me, Lord Jesus. Also, know that with the anointing comes many responsibilities. You must be ready to get to work for me. Manifesting the supernatural is not for yourself, but for my kingdom to be established on earth. So, are you ready to do the work? Yes, Lord, I am ready. I am ready, send me, Lord! Great. Now I can see that you truly mean your prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I am ready. Thank you for revealing to me the things that I need to do, that I need to comply with for me to really manifest the supernatural. Thank you for showing me the way Thank you for showing me the truth and teaching me how to go about it.